come swiftly, this moment that would be spoken of for ages. The day the Herald of Andraste challenged the Darkspawn that thought itself a god. Defeat him, and you'll be more than a holy woman to the people. You'll enter legend. I couldn't have come this far without the Inquisition at my back. And there is the modesty people respect. People joined the Inquisition after hearing you were blessed, but they've stayed because of how you lead. I wanted to tell you that I shared their sentiments, Inquisitor, and... Well, I suppose I just did. You've always been there for us, Josephine. And for me. It means much to hear you say that. Farewell, my lady. When you face Corypheus, may you walk in the light. We're marching soon. That's... So, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this. We went to an elven rune so a witch could consume a pool of magical goo and then walk through a mirror and wound up back here. Have I mentioned that the shit that happens to you is crazy? I don't want to think about this anymore. You want to discuss something normal? The Temple of Massal was extraordinary. In all my journeys, I never dreamed of finding anything like it. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? I'll use whatever power I have to undo the chaos that Corypheus and his allies have caused. You would put things back the way they were before? Yes. I mean, not exactly. I know what you mean. Thank you. For what? You have not been what I expected, Inquisitor. You have... impressed me. You honor the past, and work to recover what was lost, even if the cost is high. I respect that. And I am indebted to you for the reminder. Forgive my melancholy. Corypheus has cost us much. The Temple of Methal did not deserve such a fate. The orb he carries, and its stolen power. That, at least, we may still recover. With luck, some of the past may yet survive. You're being grim and fatalistic in the hope of getting you into bed, aren't you? I am grim and fatalistic. Getting you into bed is just an enjoyable side benefit. Come with me, Vanan. The veil is thin here. Can you feel it on your skin, tingling? I was trying to determine some way to show you what you mean to me. That's not necessary, Solas. You're my... That is the question, is it not? For now, the best gift I can offer is the truth. You are unique. In all Thedas, I never expected to find someone who could draw my attention from the Fade. You have become important to me. More important than I could have imagined. As you are to me. Then what I must tell you... The truth. Your face. 
the Valisleen. In my journeys in the Fade, I have seen things. I have discovered what those marks mean. They honor the Elven Gods. No. They are slave markings. Or at least they were in the time of ancient Alathan. So this is... what? Just one more thing the Dalish got wrong? I'm sorry. We try to preserve our culture. And this is what we keep. Relics of a time when we were no better than Tevinter. Don't say that. For all they got wrong, the Dalish did one thing right. They made you. I didn't tell you this to hurt you. If you like, I know a spell. I can remove the Valisleen. These marks have been part of me for so long. I don't know if... I'm so sorry for causing you pain. It was selfish of me. I look at you and I see what you truly are. And you deserve better than what those cruel marks represent. I know you told me because you wanted to help. But the Valisleen is part of who I am. I hope you can see... Stop. You are perfect exactly as you are. I am sorry. I distracted you from your duty. It will never happen again. Solus. Please, Vanan. Solus, don't leave me. Not now. I love you. You have a rare and marvelous spirit. In another world. Why not this one? I can't. I'm sorry. 